Riot Zone 3 podcast. I am at the Gore Bay booth. We are at RSNA 2022, and I am with... Uh, my name is Ahmed Abdullah. Uh, I am the North America Head of Medical and Regulatory Affairs oh, perfect. at Gore Bay. Awesome. So I know you guys have some really exciting things going on this year. Some things that's really changing the field. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What is that all about? So uh, we're very happy to launch the new Elucerum product. It's a new uh, GBCA or gadolinium-based contrast agent. Uh, so this is going to be uh, a new GBCA that's coming into the field right. at half the concentration compared to the conventional GBCAs that are on the market. Awesome. So we're still keeping that same, you know, relaxivity level, but yeah. with half the contrast. So the nice thing with this, it's a unique molecular st structure. Mm -hmm. uh, so it actually has two water exchange sites, which oh. actually has the highest relaxivity compared to the conventional GBCAs. Nice. And you're still keeping that stability there too? So we still have the stability because it's a macrocyclic structure right. compared to our uh, legacy product, Dodor. Um, but better. what's unique with this is that uh, because it's at a high relaxivity, it actually affords us to have half the dose. So we actually went in and got an FDA approval at half the dose compared to the conventional. Uh, and we got a priority review and a novel drug de designation uh, because it actually came out with broader indications uh, right. than our legacy product. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so, so currently we're indicated for CNS. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also indicated for body, uh, oh, nice. but it is excluding cardiac and MRA. Uh, right. But it's the only GBCA that's actually on the market indicated for MSK. So that's quite nice and oh, unique for us. Oh, for sure. It's amazing. I don't even know how long this, this type of process takes, but has it been kind of a struggle just kind of going through the process, getting this new contrast out there? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been more than 10 years in the making. Uh, oh, wow. So it's... Uh, it takes a long time. Uh, you know, you have to go through all the different phases of clinical uh, testing. Um, so between the molecular structure, development, uh, making sure the stability is there, the efficacy is there, uh, and then doing all your clinical testing, mm -hmm. it, it takes a long time. So we're very excited. It's a lot of hard work and effort that's been put into it. Oh, for sure. Super exciting. I know yeah. we get a lot of feedback as technologists just about the amount of contrast that we get people. People always have questions about, you know, the contrast and is it going to be like this? Is it going to be like that? So it's nice to be able to use half the dose and still get the same quality, get that same, you know, enhancement, right? Yeah. Now, when it comes to Dodorum, how does it kind of compare to Dodorum? So uh, the way it compares is, I mean, obviously it's, it's much brighter, right? right? So it has a much higher reactivity. Uh, they're both macrocyclic in uh, structure. We love that. Uh, Dodorum is a ionic, uh, right. but Elucerum is a non-ionic. Uh, so what that means really is when we've tested the stability, uh, when we're testing the kinetic stability for Elucerum, mm -hmm. uh, it's actually four times higher than that of all other GBCAs, including Dodo. Oh, that's oh, yeah. that's amazing. Uh, however, on the, because it's a non-ionic, the thermodynamic is not as impressive as that of Dodo. Oh, I see. But we're introducing less into the body because it's at half the concentration, so less metal. Right. Yeah. That's awesome. Man, yeah. homie, this is great. Enjoying your booth. Love what you guys are doing. Thanks for the talk. Yeah, no yeah, problem. Looking forward to seeing it. <laughs> is it already out in the market? Uh, so we are FDA approved. We got FDA approval in September, and we're nice. looking to commercialize that in 2023. Early next year. Uh, Look out so. for it. Zone 3 Podcast. RCA 2022. We're out. Thank you.